So welcome to Functional Skills with Matty at CTSW Skills Limited. Today we're going to look at an NOCN Functional Skills Level 1 Maths sample paper. And we're just going to look at the first two questions. So question one, estimate the answer to 39.856 times 7.421 by rounding to whole numbers. Write your answer in the box below. It's worth two marks. And we've got a space to write our answer. So first off, I'm just going to look at this first number. So it's 39.856. Now if I'm going to round that, so I'm going to look at this number here, the one decimal place. Um, it's above five, so I'm going to round this up to 40. Okay. Um, now I'm going to look at the other number. I've got 7.421. I'm going to look at the number after the decimal space there. It is a 4. So that means I'm going to round that down. So I'm going to keep that at a 7. So I'm going to do 40 times 7. Now, this part of the paper, we're not allowed to use a calculator. So it might be a bit hard just to do 40 times 7. So I'm just going to simplify it. I'm just going to figure out what 4 times 7 is first. So 4 times 7, um, well, I can do 7, 14, 21, 28. So I know it's going to be 28. So 4 lots of 7 is 28. Now if I was to do 40 times 7, all I need to do is just add an extra 0 onto the answer. So I know that my estimate is going to be 280. So 40 times 7 is 280. So my estimate there is 280. Now this question is worth two marks. So one of them is going to be a mark for showing all this working out, how I've rounded it to 40 and 7, and how I've got to times them together. And I'm going to get the other mark for my answer of 280. <clears throat> Now I'm going to go on to question two. It says find the mean of the numbers listed below. 4, 1, 6, 29, 3 and 23. So first off I notice it says mean. Mean means average. So I can reword the question, find the average of the numbers listed below. It might be a bit easier to work it out. I can see it's got two marks there. So there's going to be some sort of equation and there's going to be the answer itself, which is worth a mark. So what I like to do is I just like to put the numbers in order. So I just do a one first, uh, then I've got a three, then I've got a four, then a six, then I've got a 23 and a 29. And what I need to do is I need to add up all these numbers to find out what the total of them are. Okay, so I like to stack things up when I'm adding up. So I'm going to do 1, 3, 4, 6, and then 23. I'm putting the 2 of the 20 in the tens column, and then 29. Again, I'm putting the 2 in the tens column. So I'm just going to let, go through the ones column here. So I'm going to go 1, 4, 8, um, and then it's going to be 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, add 9 is going to get me to 26. So I'm going to get the 6, I'm going to carry the 2, and then I'm going to do 2, add 2, add the 2 I've carried, 2, 4, 6, 66. So I know the total there is 66. Now to work out the average, it's like putting all these, imagine they're sweets. I've got 66 sweets, I'm going to put them all in the middle, and I'm going to share them out between the number of people. So here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six bits of data could be six people. So I'm going to do 66. I'm going to share that back out for six. So how many 66s or how many sixes go into 66? Um, well, I can look at it like this. I can go, well, the 66, I can see that it's the 11 times table. 11. 22, 33, 44, 55, 66. So I know that the answer is 11. So 
my mean average. So if I were to share all these out, I could put 11, add 11, add 11, add 11, add 11, add 11. So if each person had 11 sweets, so to speak, it would still get us back to this grand total of 66. So the mean, the average number is 11.